Now the upper lip bite test is a variation of the jaw protrusion test. So essentially either the lower incisors are able to bite above the vermilion border of the lip or the lower incisors can just bite the vermilion border or they're unable to bite the upper lip. And grades two and three are considered worse grades. A grade two or three again means the same with jaw protrusion, there's just less space in the posterior pharynx and less jaw mobility to get a view on laryngoscopy. So with the upper lip bite test, I simply ask my patient to try to bite the upper lip as far above their lip as possible. He's able to bite his lip above the vermilion border. That's uh, a grade one. In grade two, if you were to decrease that, you can see that the bite is just around the vermilion border of the upper lip. And then a low grade, or grade C, or grade three rather, is can't bite the upper lip at all. Now the accuracy with this test, the sensitivity is about 78%, specificity 91% and the accuracy about 91%. So this, I don't have the positive predictive value for this test, but again, the positive predictive value is invariably from a range of 20 to 40%.